woman to be married to this man? I am Ron Bernard, father of the bride. I probably give her hand in marriage. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dad. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Creator and Redeemer, as you gladden the wedding at Cana in Galilee by the presence of your Son, so by his presence now bring your joy to this wedding. Look in favor upon Catherine and Robert, and grant that they, rejoicing in all your gifts, may at length celebrate with the Christ the marriage feast which has no end. Amen. Amen. And now I understand we have some special music is that there's a special reading it's from the song of solomon my lover spoke and said to me arise my darling my beautiful one and come with me see the winter is past the rains are over and gone flowers appear on the earth the season of singing has come the cooing of doves is heard in our land the fig tree forms its early fruit the blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. My dove in the clefts of the rock, in the hiding places of the mountainside, show me your face. Let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. And in the Hebrew, we'll say, Ani le dodi, le dodi li. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. <laughs> there are several other passages that the bride and groom have chosen, and then they let me choose some, but they wanted to have certain themes mentioned here today. And the first one that they wanted to mention was shalom, or peace. And so I thought it would be wonderful to use that beautiful, ironic blessing which occurs in Numbers. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, Thus you shall bless all peoples. You shall say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So shall they put my name in the Israelites, and I will bless them. Here ends the first reading. The second reading 
uh, we are going to have is from the book of Galatians. And this is a beautiful reading talking about the gifts of the Spirit. Live by the Spirit, I say, and do not gratify all your own desires. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have lived in the Spirit. So let us live in the Spirit and be guided by the Spirit. Let us not become conceited or competing once against one another or envying one another. Friends, you must live by the Spirit. Here ends the second reading. The final reading that was chosen uh, wanted to be about abundance. And we talked about how important that was. And the passage that you gave me from John 10 was great, but it involved a great number of sheep. And so I chose a different I chose a different passage that talks about that same abundance from God. This is from Ephesians 3. For this reason, I bow to God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through the Spirit that God may dwell in your heart through faith. You are rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you have power to comprehend what is the breadth and length and height and depth to know God's love in all surpassing knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. And now to him who by the power at the work is able to accomplish abundantly far more than anything we can even ask or imagine. To him be glory to the church and to all generations forever and ever. Amen. This time I wanted to share an incredible passage that Kate wrote to God just one week before, <laughs> one week before, before she met Robert. This was supposed to be a letter that she felt God was speaking to her. And I want to read it to you. Dear Kate, do not be discouraged in this season of dryness and doubt. Know that his provision is today. Do not look to the world, but see the unseen. The Lord has called you, for the maker is your husband. Trust in him and lean not on your own understanding in all his ways. Your goal is to please God, not humankind. Seek first the kingdom, and you will have peace. Allow me, God, the one to be that you depend on always, and you will have life, and life abundant. Know that you, who I made beautifully and wonderfully, can surrender to my will, and know me, God your Father. She wrote that just one week, right, before God reintroduced you to your future husband. Can I kiss Wonderful. the bride? Yes. Not yet. Not yet. The introduction to the vows, if you guys would go ahead, if you would hold her bouquet, sweetheart, would you hold her bouquet? Okay. Hold that for her. And if you all would turn toward each other. Okay, and if you would join your left hands, okay, and they had us uh, to read this introduction from um, Khalil Gibran, who writes a beautiful book called The Prophet, and he talks about marriage. I want to read this as an introduction to the vows. You were born together, and together you shall be forevermore. You shall be together when the white wings of death scatter your days. I, you shall be together in the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in your togetherness, and let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, 
but do not make a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not of the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone. Even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not to each other's keeping. For only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together. For the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. Catherine and Robert, if it is your intention to share with each other your joys and your sorrows and all the years will bring, with your promises, Bind yourselves one to another as husband and wife. Okay? Robert, you're going to say first, and I'm going to feed you the lines, and you're going to speak them into her eyes. Okay? Nice short things. Okay? <clears throat> Catherine? Yeah. I promise to love you forever. I promise to love you forever. I commit myself to a love that is patient. I commit myself to a love that is patient. A love that is kind. A love that is kind. A love that is not envious or boastful. A love that is not envious or boastful. Or arrogant or rude. Or arrogant or rude. My love for you will not insist on its own way. My love for you will not insist on its own way. My love for you will not be irritable or resentful. My love for you will not be irritable or resentful. I will not rejoice in wrongdoing. I will not rejoice in wrong, do I? But I will rejoice in the truth. But I will rejoice in the truth. I vow that our love. I vow that our love will bear all things. Will bear all things. Believe all things. Believe all things. Hope all things. Hope all things. And endure all things. And endure all things. My love for you will never end. My love for you. Will same lines when you look into his eyes, okay? Robert, Robert, I promise to love you forever. I promise to love you forever. I commit myself to a love that is patient. I commit myself to a love that is patient. A love that is kind. A love that is kind. A love that is not envious or boastful. A love that is not envious or boastful. Or arrogant or rude. Or arrogant or rude. My love for you will not insist on its own way. My love for you will not insist on its own way. My love for you will not be irritable or resentful. My love for you will not be irritable or resentful. I will not rejoice in wrongdoing. I will not rejoice in wrongdoing. But I will rejoice in the truth. But I will rejoice in the truth. I vow that our love. I vow that our love will bear all things. Bear all things. Believe all things. Believe all things. Hope all things. Hope all things. And endure all things. And endure all things. My love for you will never end. My love for you will never end. I now 